Professor Dave and Chegg here. We know of alcohols as compounds containing a hydroxyl group, and these are very important molecules in organic chemistry. They can be prepared by a wide variety of methods from many different starting materials, and alcohols can also be transformed into a wide assortment of compounds as well. Let's do a quick survey of the methods we know for the preparation of alcohols. Take a look at this scheme for reference. We can see that alcohols can both produce and be prepared from alkyl halides, esters, carboxylic acids, alkenes, ketones, aldehydes, and ethers. We will want to review the techniques that will allow us to do this, and right now we will focus on the methods that utilize alkene substrates. From alkenes, we can prepare alcohols by acid-catalyzed hydration. This is an addition reaction where the pi bond is protonated and then water coordinates to the carbocation. This is the simplest approach, but it has limitations, as carbocation rearrangement can occur and there is no stereochemical control. If more regiochemical or stereochemical control is desired, we can use more rigorous methods. Hydroboration oxidation uses BH3 and THF in the first step, and hydrogen peroxide in the second step, and this will yield the syn anti Markovnikov product. Recall that anti Markovnikov means that the hydroxyl group ends up on the less substituted carbon of the two participating in the pi bond, and syn means that the hydrogen and hydroxyl being added will be syn to one another. It does not refer to any existing substituents on the molecule. For example, with this cyclic alkene, H and OH end up syn to one another, which means the existing methyl group gets pushed back and will be trans to the hydroxyl. Conversely, oxymercuration demercuration yields the Markovnikov product, also in two steps. Markovnikov means that the hydroxyl ends up on the more substituted carbon, and here stereochemistry does not apply, as we will end up with two identical protons on the less substituted carbon. One more important reaction that utilizes an alkene substrate is dihydroxylation. This can be done with osmium tetroxide to yield the syn-1,2-diol, which follows this stereochemistry because both hydroxyls are delivered from the same compound. Conversely, the trans-1,2-diol can be generated via epoxidation and subsequent hydrolysis, since once the epoxide is formed, if water attacks to open up the ring, it will do so via SN2 and a backside attack, so the two resulting hydroxyls will necessarily be trans to one another. There are many other ways to generate alcohols, but that covers some of the most common ways that alcohols can be prepared from an alkene substrate. Professor Dave for Check. See you next time.